This is John Brown, Rose, Brown. Brown. and the Midnight Cat. It is like Grandma, isn't it? By Jenny this Wagner. Grandma. It looks like Grandma. Oh, look at her house. What a beautiful house with beautiful big trees and a big dog. And we've got the washing line out the back and her fence out the front. And look, there's a toilet out the back. And she has two chimneys. What a beautiful house. John Brown, Rose, and the Midnight Cat. Rose's husband, this is Rose. Yeah. And this is John Brown. The, the, yeah. the dog is called John Brown. And the old lady is called Rose. Rose's husband died a long time ago. Now she lives with her dog. His name was John Brown. Only did Grandma. Yeah, yeah. John Brown, the dog, loved Rose. And he looked after her in every way he could. What's Rose doing? He's giving the dog food. Is she giving the dog food? Yeah. I think she's feeding the chickens. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In summer, <coughs> he sat under the pear tree with Rose. Oh, 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 can oh, you oh, see? oh, oh. Can, Alexander, can you see the pears on the tree? Yeah. Where are the pears? In winter, he watched as she dozed by the fire all year round. He kept her company. We're all right, John Brown, said Rose. Just the two of us, you and me. Bless you. Bless you. One night, Rose looked out the window and she saw something move in the garden. What's that in the garden, John Brown, she said. John Brown wouldn't look. Look, fire, fire. Fire. Shh. Out there, said Rose. I think it's a cat. Can you see the cat? I don't see any cat, said John Brown. I'm sure it's a cat. Go and give it some milk. There's nobody there, said John Brown. But that night when Rose was safe in bed, John Brown, the dog, went outside. He drew a line around the house and he told the midnight cat to stay away. We don't need you, cat, he said. We're all right, Rose and I. Mommy, I'm taking all my stuff. The next night, Rose saw the midnight cat. Look, Rose is looking out the window. As he slipped through the shadow of the pear tree. Look, there he is, John Brown, she said. Don't you see him now? But John Brown shut his eyes. Rose sighed and packed up her knitting. Then she wound up the clock and took the milk bottles out. John Brown followed her. I'm sure there's no cat, he said. But Rose, look, Rose saw the cat, the midnight cat, often after that. Every night when John Brown wasn't looking, she put out a milk, a bowl of milk for the cat. Look, she put a bowl of milk out for the midnight cat. And every night when Rose wasn't looking, John Brown tipped the milk out again. There's the cat. You don't need a cat, he said. You've got me. Look, they're eating their breakfast. One night, the midnight cat jumped up at the window and rubbed his back against the glass. Look, there he is. Can you see him? His eyes were like lamps and his fur shone against the ragged sky. Look, John Brown, said Rose. Isn't he beautiful? Get up and let him in. No, said John Brown, and pulled the curtains shut. No, I won't let him in. Read it. Yep. Next morning, Rose did not get up. All right, enough Read kisses. It. John Brown waited in the kitchen for his breakfast, and nothing happened. Oh. Look, John Brown's waiting in the kitchen for his breakfast. He went to see what was wrong. I'm sick, said Rose. I'm staying in bed. 
All day, said John Brown. All day and forever, said Rose. Uh-huh. 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 John Brown thought. He thought all through lunchtime. And when supper time came, he was still thinking. Can you not do that, please? An hour past supper time, he went back to Rose and woke her gently. Look, Rose is in bed. She looks sad, doesn't she? Do you think she looks sad? Yeah. Will the midnight cat make you better? said John Brown. Oh, yes, said Rose. That's just what I want. John Brown went out to the kitchen and opened the door. And the midnight cat came in. Look, the cat's inside. Then Rose got up and sat by the fire for a while. And the midnight cat, cat sat nice. on the arm of the chair. Cat is and now there's three of them. There's the, there's the midnight cat, John Brown and Rose. And the midnight cat purred. How does the cat purr? Good. Let's do something else.